Jingle, 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 jingle. Jingle, 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 jingle. Jingle, jingle, it's a land. Full of stories and surprises. Tell me about it. If you like to wonder why, Tinga Tinga is a land of why. You won't believe your eyes. Why I swing from tree to tree. One more trunk is long. Why I'm so Why slow. I take one more skin and smooth and slick. You ask why, 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 why. Why? You ask why, 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 why. There's a story. There's a story. Beneath the Tinga sky. Tales from Africa. <laughs> Tales from Africa. Jingle, 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 jingle. Look at all my friends. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Why hen pets the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> 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 Not like that. Shake and ruffle. Like this. Oh, ho, ho. what are you doing, Mama Hen? Shush, monkey. She's trying to teach her little ones to keep clean. <laughs> but they're filthy dirty. They are so adorable. <laughs> All made out of sweetness. Uh, Hen looks happy, doesn't she? That's because she is. Funny way to get clean, though. <laughs> Both time. <laughs> Good shot, elephant. Oh! <laughs> Jumbo monkeys, you fancy a blast? No, no, no. It's cleaning time. <laughs> it's boring. Monkeys? Ooh. All animals must take care of themselves. It's nature's way. But I don't want... No bots! Okay, sir. Hey, hey, Tickbird, you look a bit muddy too. <laughs> Thank you, Lion. Asante. Elephant! <laughs> and roll and ruffle. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to get clean if Mama Hen and her chicks keep covering us in dust? Oh, monkeys. We all have our different ways of cleaning. I lick, you pick, and Mama Hen and her chicks, well, they just dust. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Oh, poor Hen. So grubby and so completely, utterly, all consumingly brown. I may not have fancy feathers like you, Peacock, but at least I have friends. Dear Hen, utter not another word. You're a born mother, so no need to worry yourself about how you look. And brown is such a practical colour. Covers the stains. Oh. <gasps> Peacock, I think you owe Hen an apology. Do I? Yes, you were really mean. I think brown is a rather nice colour. Blends in with everything. Elephant. What? Delightful observations. But I think you've all forgotten a teensy-weensy little something. I am Peacock. I don't do apologies. I do beautiful. Ah. <sighs> Thank you for trying, dear friends. We'll be heading home now. Come on, little ones. Oh, poor hen. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's right, you know. I'm plain and brown and dowdy. I've told you, Hen. Don't mind Peacock. He just loves himself way too much. How's about you come and visit my nest, hey? Oh. Come on, I'll take you up there on my back. You would do that for me? Just this once. I've built this new nest and I think it's rather spectacular. Even though I do say so myself. <laughs> Thank you, Eagle. Asante. Clam on! <laughs> this is flying! <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Look, look! <laughs> Hold on! It's truly beautiful. Oh. 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 
And you did this all by yourself? Just me. How did you do it? It's a precious secret. I've never told another living animal. Eagle, please. I promise I won't cluck to anyone. <laughs> all right, I'll show you. <gasps> what is that? A needle. Magpie dropped it, and I discovered I could sew all sorts of things. Look. <laughs> Eagle, I know it's a lot to ask, but can I borrow your needle? I'm sorry, Hen. It's just too precious to me. I'll be extremely careful. There's only one of these needles in the whole of the animal kingdom. I cannot let it out of my sight. I look after your needle as if it were one of my chicks. Please, Eagle, please. Oh, only because it's you. <gasps> oh, Eagle, thank you. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> You'll see. Shona, Shona, so and so. me, Peacock? Uh, well, what on earth, Hen? <laughs> Not so proud now, am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about from rags to riches. <laughs> <laughs> that put Peacock in his place. Now I can strut too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry, Tortoise. Oh, and so <laughs> and leave and yeah. leave and so. That will teach Peacock with his fancy I don't do apologies. <laughs> now, think how impressive I would look if you, Mama Hen, sewed all of nature's beauty into my glorious mane. I could never do that. Why ever not? Because it's Eagle's precious needle, and I promise never to let it out of my... <gasps> oh no! The needle! The needle! Oh! Where can it be? Oh no! Huh? Chicks, search! We must find the needle. Oh. Um. Quick, 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 quick. Don't worry, Hen. We'll find it. Is it here? No. Um, no. Uh oh. Must find the needle. <laughs> must find the needle. Jambo, Hen. <gasps> I hear you're quite the talk of the jungle. So, can I have my needle back? Uh, I had the needle, and then I didn't have it. And I mean, I was looking after it, obviously, but it just... You've lost my needle, haven't you? Sorry, Eagle. I trusted you with the most precious thing I had in the world. I know, but I will find it. I'm sorry, Hen. Until you find that needle again, our friendship is over. I'll find the needle. 
Oh, I promise. So that's why Hen makes the ground. She's always trying to find the needle for Eagle. And Eagle never flew down again to speak to her friend. Waiting for the day, her needle will be returned. Must find the needle. Deary me, pecking in the dirt in a coat like that. She's got to find her friend's needle. You may be beautiful on the outside, Hen, but you're still brown on the inside. Peacock, you don't understand friendship. Says who? <gasps> Eagle said it. Like I give a hoot. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, 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 la. And fancy, fancy peacock. Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> chesa, chesa! Come on, dance! <laughs> imba, Imba! Come on, sing! Why, bat hangs upside down! Boo! <gasps> Did you see that? Was it bat? I bet it was. Boo! <laughs> I knew it! Scared you, scared you! Nothing scares me! <laughs> you see, bat just loves scaring animals. Any animal, even the most tiniest, tiniest animal of them all. Bush baby. <gasps> Sorry, Bush baby. I didn't mean to wake you. That's okay, monkey. Oh, you're no fun, Bush Baby. You're too easy to scare. Well, why do you keep doing it then? Because your eyes go big and funny. Mm, boo! <laughs> 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 Jumbo monkeys. Didn't we scare you? Nothing scares me. I bet you can't scare a really big beast. I can scare any beast. What about hippo? Hippos, easy. Boo! <gasps> <Bats. laughs> <Nasty bad. sighs> Paul is sorry, Bush baby. <laughs> Stop it, tick bird. Stop it. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Tick Bird! Stop it! That's even worse! <laughs> <Boo. Whoa. laughs> Nothing scares me! <laughs> I'll get you! Never! You don't scare me, Hippo! Nothing scares me! How do you think you would feel if some animal... <gasps> some big, meany animal crept up on you from behind, and... <laughs> I would feel nothing. Nothing scares me. <laughs> Somebody has got to teach that bat a lesson. Let's visit Lion. Do something about Bat. Do we have to go now? I'm so tired. Uh -huh. Let's see Lion tomorrow. <sighs> Let her have a good night's sleep. And visit Lion in the... <sighs> but better not come back. Nighttime isn't a time for mischief, even for bat. Night, night, Hippo. Uh, night, night, Tipper. <sighs> <laughs> now it's time for some real fun. <laughs> whoa, 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 What is it? What is it? I don't know, but it's big and it's scary. 
Oh, and it's the size of a mountain. Run! What is it? What is it? A big scary creature, the size of a mountain. And eyes as big as a moon. Wallala! 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 Said and done. What's happening? A creature is coming. The size of a mountain and eyes as big as a moon. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that is bad. <laughs> you should see your faces. <laughs> Popo. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> come back here. <laughs> you can't scare me. <laughs> this has got to stop. No animal has the right to scare another animal without good reason. Yes, yes your majesty. Your majesty. But must be taught a lesson. That's what I said, your majesty. Quiet people, I'm thinking. Your Majesty. Tortoise. May I suggest something? Mm-hmm. That must be taught a lesson. Lion just said that. Oh, my apologies. Ahem, <clears throat> excuse me, but nothing scares Bat. Not even Elephant. But Bat has never seen the Eye of the Storm. Few animals have ever seen it. Lions have the knowledge, and only tortoise and elephant mm -hmm. the memory of it. But once seen, the eye of the storm is never forgotten. Am I correct, tortoise? Mm-hmm. Huh? It is time. Stand back and do exactly as I say. All those with hooves, stamp them loud. Like thunder, you stamp! So stamp them loud! Oh, looks like rain. Now, feathered ones and beasts with wings, beat them strong! Like the wings of the wind, so beat them strong! Oh! oh. Oh, Ooh. I'm not scared of a little wind. Nothing scares me. Oh. Ooh. I'll just stay like this until the storm is over. Elephant, you know what to do. Trumpet the skies and herald the rain to begin. Trumpet loud! Trumpet strong! It's just rain. Nothing to be scared of. And finally, lightning! The light of the storm! Buffalo! Blast your horns! I'm not scared. <laughs> if that doesn't scare Bat, nothing will. No animal has the right to scare others. It's not nature's way. Mm -hmm. Looking for you all over the bush. Come down. I'm not ever coming down. The storm is over. Just open your eyes and you'll see. I won't open my eyes. Too scared. Too scared. And that is why Bat hangs upside down. Boop. Ah! 
<laughs> I think you gave Bat quite a fright. I didn't mean to. I don't think Bat will be scaring anyone again in a hurry. And Tortoise was right. From that day on, Bat became a shy, timid creature, hiding away in his cave. And he spent so long with his wings over his eyes that he never went out in the bright sun again. Who? Wait for me. So, Bush Baby, tell me, how do you scare a bat? I don't know. How do you scare a bat? Just say boo. Oh! <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> well, it is quite funny when Bush Baby's eyes pop like that. I can't help it. You scared me. <laughs> and Bush Baby's big eyes? Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> Chesa, Chesa, come on, dance! Imba, Imba, come on, sing! Why, monkeys swing in their trees! <laughs> this story is all about me! <laughs> you see, we didn't always swing in the trees, you know? <laughs> we used to stay in the ground and play! <laughs> <laughs> and we love to wind crocodile up. <laughs> Careful, monkeys. If you keep pulling that end, you will find that the other end has teeth. Ow, monkeys. <laughs> Me, one of the scariest animals in Tinga Tinga. What's up, Crook, my friend? You look snappier than normal. I'm fed up to the teeth with those mischievous monkeys. You need a monkey plan, Croc. Something to show those monkeys who's the boss around here. Something you can really get your teeth into. <laughs> like what? Um, I'll get back to you on that, Croc. <laughs> hey, don't snap at me. I'm on your side, remember? If you come up with a good plan soon, then maybe I will reward you with an egg or two for your supper. Okay, it's a deal, Croc. But if you call me Croc one more time, I may just have you for my supper. Ooh. Okay, okay. <laughs> Keep your teeth in. Uh-huh. Big gray clouds. That means the rain is here. And big rain. Better tell all the animals <laughs> and quit. There's rain and big rains are coming. Mm-hmm. Rains are coming. Big rains are coming. Really big. The clouds are nearly upon us, which means every animal must find shelter. I knew Lion was going to say that. He always says that. You always say that. Say what? I knew Lion was going to say that. <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> Will you stop chattering and keep away from that mango tree? Remember the last time the rains came? The river rose and you got stuck up the mango tree, didn't you? Well, don't let it happen again. We knew he was going to say that. Everybody's gone. They've all gone to hide from the rains. <laughs> and you know what that means. I know what that means. I know what that means too. <laughs> More mangoes for us. <laughs> nice one. Now I have a really good plan. That means eggs for supper. <laughs> hey, Croc. Croc, Lion says the big rain is coming. Remember the last time the monkeys got stuck? I do, I do. <laughs> Remember how the monkeys can't swim? And this time, there's nobody to save them. Except us. Us? Why would we save them? Well, you could tell them that you would take them across the river and save them, but that would be a very good moment to catch them. <laughs> now that is a very good plan. So what are we waiting for? That is what we are waiting for, Croc. The rains. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'd lay off the smiling, Croc, if I were you. It makes you look nasty. I am nasty. 
<laughs> okay, okay. Keep your teeth in. Aha! Ribbit! I love the rain. It makes me cool. I love the rain, but I'm cool enough already. <laughs> we love the rain. It makes things grow. I love the rain, but I'm grown enough already. <laughs> <laughs> there they are, stranded, just like I said. Mm -hmm. Look at that juicy big mango. Let's save the best one for last. No, no, no. We should eat the best one first and the worst one last. I thought it was the first one worst. And the last one best. <laughs> now that's just silly. <laughs> uh -oh. Now we've been really silly. <laughs> Help! Help! Somebody Help. save Help. us! We're stuck in a tree. Did I hear a monkey calling for help? I do believe you did. <laughs> help! And not just one monkey calling for help, help. but three! Jumbo monkeys. Stranded up the tree again? Mm. Yes. What a terrible shame. I am sure my friend Crocodile will take you back to dry land. Aha. Uh -huh. But only one at a time. What? You'd help us, Crocodile? After all the times we've pulled your tail? Oh, <gasps> oh Croc, no. That was just a bit of fun, don't you, Croc? Ah. So, who's first? Me, me, me. Wait for the last one, the big cheeky one. Save the best till last. Mm -hmm. See you on the other side. Save a mango for me. Will do. <laughs> well, little monkey, it's a beautiful wet day here at the waterhole, and believe it or not, this is the waterhole. <laughs> Dryland. <laughs> Ooh, crocodile. Save a mango for me. Okay. <laughs> And over there, that's where Lion found his roar. Oh, yes, good times, good times. <laughs> Jumbo monkey. <laughs> haraka, haraka, hurry, hurry. The water is up to my feet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, not so fast, monkey. Crocodile is a kind beast, wouldn't you agree? Oh, yes, lizard. So you'd understand why it hurts, Crocodile, when you treat him with disrespect. Disrespect? <laughs> That's exactly what I mean. Now you just apologise to Crocodile right now. Dear, dear Crocodile, I'm very, very sorry. And I will try never to do it again. Ever, never, ever. Apologies are all very well and good, but this time Crocodile wants something more. Of course, anything. Just tell me what it is. <laughs> Crocodile. Oh. Your heart. My heart? Mm. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? If it's my heart that you want, you must both promise to turn your heads and look the other way. <laughs> I don't want you to see me take my heart out, do I? Oh, no, no. That would be nasty. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Ready? Ah. Uh -uh. Not so fast, Crocodile. First, you must take me on your back to the other side. Then, I will give you my heart. Oh, quickly. Uh, I haven't got long. Uh. Come here, Boo Monkey. Uh. Welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no! There. Oh. Yes, my heart. Oh. Now, thank you, dear friends. Uh, uh, remember me to everyone. Tell them 
This isn't a heart. It's a mango. Oh, sorry, crocodile. I didn't have the heart to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Better eat it all up and make it snappy. <laughs> <laughs> that mango broke my heart. <laughs> and you are all just as bad. Always taking the side of the monkeys all the time. <laughs> oh, come on, Croc. Don't be so heartless. <laughs> we could have a heart to heart about it. <laughs> and from that day on, we never really trusted Crocodile again. <laughs> and that's why monkeys swing in the trees. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll get that monkey and the rest of you. Oh, come on. You've got to see the funny side, Croc. And don't call me Croc. Okay, okay, keep your teeth in. And Lizard <laughs> running about all over the place. Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Bring me the tinga sky. Woo! Tinga, tinga, tinga. Chesa, chesa, come on, dance. Tinga, 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 tinga. Imba, imba, come on, sing. Why, Owl's head dance all the way round. You see, there was a time when Owl was not so very awake. She had tiny little eyes and tiny little ears. Hey! Lazy feathers! I'm talking to you! Huh? Huh? Who's that? You're supposed to be guarding Eagle's nest. Not using it as a pillow. <laughs> see? Tiny eyes, tiny ears. And very, very lazy. <laughs> Somebody is stealing mangoes. Outrageous. Hm. Shouldn't be allowed. Warthog, it is certainly not allowed. Elephant, summon the animals, please. <clears throat> Meeting. Wake up, lazy fellas. Do it, do Oi, 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 hi, hi, oi. Oh. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this meeting for? How's my nest? Uh huh? My nest. How's my nest? Yes, I did rest. Thank you. <laughs> no, I said, how's my Silence! nest? Silence! Something is very wrong in Tinga Tinga. Only yesterday there was a big pile of mangoes here. Now look what remains. And what does that mean? Some animal is taking mangoes without permission. <gasps> Terrible. Wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> Bert, have you seen anything from the skies? Owl, uh -huh. we Hi. have not seen Owl. anything. <laughs> Owl? I told you, Lon, we birds have not seen a single thing. Especially Owl, uh, who's been uh, guarding my nest, uh, uh, haven't you, Owl? Uh, uh, yes, yes, I've been guarding. Mm. Mm. Frog, have you seen anything? No. Look, the mangoes have gone. Who stole the mangoes? Who stole the mangoes? Stole the mangoes? Stole the mangoes? What? What? What's happening? What? 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 Silence! May I suggest something, Your Highness? Tortoise. We should guard all the mango piles day and night. And that way, we will catch the thief. Excellent suggestion, Tortoise. Excellent. <laughs> Owl! Huh? That's you! Uh, yes, your majesty. You must report back to me with news from the mango piles. But, but... No buts! Uh, what did Lion say? Uh, Owl! What? <laughs> Jambo Frog, anything strange? Quiet night here. Uh. Nothing strange at all. As you can see. Good, good, huh? And you? How are things? Oh, 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 you know, trying my best to stay awake, but all this flying around all night long, it's very tiring. My back isn't what it used to be, and I can't keep my eyes open. They're too the small. Mangoes the mangoes have gone! The mangoes have gone! How on earth did that happen? I have no idea. I'd better check on the other mango piles. 
<laughs> Elephant, tortoise, is everything okay here with the mangoes? <laughs> Why, of course it is, Owl. Everything's fine, isn't it, Elephant? Mm-hmm. Good, good. You know, because Frog's pile disappeared right before my very eyes. Oh, my! The thief must be very clever. But we are much cleverer than any thief, aren't we, Elephant? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my plan is foolproof. With Elephant actually standing over the mangoes mm -hmm. and me keeping watch, mm -hmm. no animal could ever get past us. Not in a million years. Not even in a billion years. Impossible. <laughs> you see... What? They've gone! <gasps> the mangoes have gone! No! Oh, the mangoes have gone! Oh, no, it's happened again! Oh. Where are your mangoes? A simple good evening would be nice, Al. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that mangoes are disappearing right before my very eyes. This is incredibly serious. What happened? Well, first it was with Frog, then with Tortoise and Elephant, and as we were talking, they just disappeared. Oh! oh. The mangoes have gone! The mangoes oh, no, not gone. again. What am I going to do? Oh, all? All gone? I'm afraid so, Your Majesty. Owl, you were there every time the mangoes disappeared, and you didn't see a thing? No, Your Majesty, I didn't see anything. <laughs> Monkeys, this is not a joking matter. <clears throat> May I suggest something, Your Majesty? Hmm. We must guard the mango tree. Oh. If we don't, we may not have any mangoes left. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A very important job. Who will volunteer? Uh, what? No beast? I will. <laughs> <clears throat> Lan, I'm afraid I may have over-exaggerated <laughs> our suitability for the job. I won't fail this time, Your Majesty. I promise. Hmm. Very well, Owl. But don't let us down again. I won't. I won't. You must be alert and awake at all times. I will be, Your Majesty. Asante. Thank you. Oh, you don't know what this means to me. I'm so... Eyes as big as the moon. 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 Do you really think this is going to work? My friend, do you have a better idea? Eyes as big as the moon. Eyes as big as... Time's up! Are they still as big as the moon? They are! Your eyes are as big as the moon. No, you'll be able to see anything coming, day or night. Huh? Speak up. I said you'll be able to... Oh, this is hopeless. Elephant, huh? give a good old blow to help Owl's tiny ears hear better. Stand back, everyone. <gasps> oh! Elephant! Yeah! 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 Huh? <laughs> Sorry, I meant to blow, but a trumpet came out. Oh, that's okay, Elephant. Now I can hear. Oh, I can hear and see everything. I'm definitely going to catch that mango thief now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Good luck, Owl. Good luck, Owl. Mm. Eyes as big as the moon. Eyes as big as the moon. I oh, oh, Eyes as big as the moon. Eyes as big as the you naughty! Know Don't you dare! You stop her! Would you naughty? Know oh, I can't see. Uh, behind me, uh, I can't see. Oh, oh, I can see. Naughty! <gasps> what? It's the ants! It's the ants, everybody! The ants are stealing the mangoes! I've got the thief! I got the thief! Woohoo! <laughs> they're back, they're back! <laughs> well done, Owl. Thank you, Your Highness. Now, ants, what are we going to do with you? Banish the ants underground! Mm, well said, well said. Give me any. Silence! Hmm. Ants. Stealing is against nature's law. What were you thinking? True, but you did steal them. We need food. Must mm. have food. Also true. 
Well, animals, from now on, all of you must remember to leave scraps on the ground so that you ants will always have something to eat. Yes, we thank you, Asante. We <coughs> thank you. Owl, good job guarding the mango tree. Thank you, Your Highness. Now I can hear even the tiniest sound. And look, I can see all around me, too. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, amazing. I can see this way. <laughs> and that way. <laughs> How useful, Owl. From this day, you will be the official night guard for the whole of Tinga Tinga. I will stay awake all night to see and hear everything. Look, I am seeing everywhere. Everything I can see. <laughs> so that's why our Zen turns all the way around. <laughs> that way. Oh, put me down, you naughty ants. <laughs> Every way I can see. <laughs> and why are ants so strong? <laughs> well, that's a whole other story. Kuban. <laughs> chesa, chesa, come on, dance. Imba, Imba, come on, sing. Why Warthog is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Warthog wasn't always ugly. Oh no, he wasn't bad looking at all. <laughs> Jambo birds. In fact, he was annoyingly good looking. The water's lovely and cool just here. Flamingo, come on and try it. <laughs> Jambo ladies. Hmm. Chop, uh, chop. Uh. Say Jambo back to the most handsome hog in Tinga Tinga. <laughs> Jambo Warthog. <laughs> Are you a little hot today, Flamingo? No, Warthog. Why? Oh, no reason. You just look a little pink. That's all. <laughs> oh, oh. Warthog was rude. Rude about every beast. Don't let him ruffle your feathers. Excuse me, Warthog, but we were having a conversation. Well, today's your lucky day, because now I'm going to join you. Come on, budge oh, 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 oh. 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 oh, Hippo, your hindquarters are humongous. Well, I never. How rude. How rude. Oh. Well, I want to stand in the cool water, too, and there just isn't room. Good. I ain't never seen a rump that size. What? Cheek. And if I were you, I'd do something about it. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Hippo. Horrible hog. Oh. Silly hen, leaving her eggs lying about. <laughs> I don't know what you laughing about with that ugly face of yours. Hmm? What did you say? Well, you have to admit, you're not the prettiest beast in the bush. Uh? I mean, leopard knot spots off of you. <laughs> your teeth are all crooked. Look at your back legs. They're all short and stumpy and... About to run, Warthog. Uh, 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 run! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, get it from me! Oh, get it! Oh, 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 Hide in your burrow, you horrible hog. But I'll get you. Just you wait. <laughs> Never, you ugly muggly. Oh. <laughs> uh. hmm. I'm not an ugly muggly. Ah, <laughs> no ugly hyena. And a lovely day to feed my beautiful face. And what better to feed my face than truffles? So good for the skin and my handsome looks. Not that you can get much better looking than me. <laughs> Ooh! Watch where you're truffling, Warthog. And where, tortoise? Are you rushing off to? 
I'm heading for the acacia tree. I thought I'd start out early. Hair says there are some juicy lettuces there. Well, chap, chap, you better hurry. Even the snails would have gotten there by the time you get there. <laughs> <laughs> no need to be so rude. You know what Owl always says? Good things come to those who wait. Well, lucky old lettuce then. <laughs> Such a rude hog. There'll be trouble. Oh, morning, porcupine. Oh, Jumbo tortoise. Are you all right? I've been up all night trying to find food. I'm so tired. I can hardly lift my quills. Look! Uh, oh, I'm shattered. You need to hold up for a bit. Get your strength back. Whew, I'm such a long way from my hole. Why not rest in Warthog's burrow? But where is Warthog? That rude hog has gone out looking for truffles. He won't even know. <laughs> Thank you, Tortoise. I will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I'm telling Owl. Owl! 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 Oh, Owl! Oh. Oh. Stop it, Warthog! Stop it! Why? I've been up all night, and we all need our beauty sleep, you know. Some more than most. And you, Owl, look very old and tired today. <gasps> oh, <laughs> be careful, Warthog. Beauty is only skin deep. Hmm. Oh, 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 Warthog, Warthog. Oh. Warthog. Woo. Good day, Your Majesty. My, you look messy. What happened to your mane? Did you get all tangled in the bush? You know, kings can't prowl around looking like that. What would the other animals think? Get it. Now, if I were king or ting or tinger, I would... Uh, warthog? No beast talks to lion in such a manner. In fact, no beast should be insulted in such a way. You are a very, very rude hog. I w w was just saying, if I was king or ting or tinger, but I you would... are not. And enough is enough. Oh. Who's the king? Come here, Warthog. I can teach you, Warthog. Not so handsome from behind, Warthog. Who's the king now? You are. You are. Ah. Him out. Oh. Oh. I'll get you! <laughs> Whoa! Warthog, Pole, you gave me such a fright. You see, Toto said you were out, <coughs> and I fell asleep. <coughs> Is Warthog's face going rather pink, or am I just imagining it? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Why is nobody helping Warthog? But he was horrid. Horrid to everybody. everybody. <laughs> well, that's not nice. But Warthog cannot stay like this. Ah. Owl, won't you help? Apparently, I'm too tired and I'm too old. Sounds like you've been upsetting everyone who talk. <coughs> Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ah, my face! My 
doubt my handsome looks. Who's an ugly muggly now? Mm. <laughs> mm. My face is all big and swollen. But at least it's not as big as my bottom, huh? <laughs> it's for the holes. Well, you've only got yourself to blame. Oh, the swelling would never go down. Hmm. If I were you, I'd do something about it. <laughs> I'm just plain ugly. What did you say, Owl? Beauty is only skin deep, Lion. Beauty is only skin deep. As ever, extremely wise words. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> and that is why Warthog is ugly. His good looks never came back. <laughs> he just got uglier and grumpier. <laughs> Sorry, Warthog, forgive me. <sighs> and from that day on, Warthog always entered his barrel bottom first. Just in case Porcupine was down there. Sorry, Warthog. I didn't mean it. <laughs> and Porcupine and her quills? Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Bring me the tinga sky. Woo! Tinga, tinga, tinga. Chesa, chesa, come on, dance. Tinga, tinga, tinga. Imba, imba, come on, sing. <laughs> While Tigbad sits on Hippo's back. <laughs> You see, Tikba didn't always sit on Hippo's back. <laughs> Look at us, hmm? Two fine birds. And such beautiful, calm water. Oh, my favorite time of day. You'd never, ever see Tikba near Hippo. If you could help it. A nice, quiet morning drink. <laughs> Hippo, not again! In fact, there was a time when Tickbird and Hippo weren't friends at all. Hippo! 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 It's not funny! It's not funny! Mm, a tick! Mm, tasty! Tick! Get off! I have tickly skin! I don't like being stood on! Stop splashing! It's not funny! It's not oh, funny! Get off! Silly. Get off! Stop splashing! I'm tickly! <laughs> don't like it, huh? Yeah! Peace and quiet at last. Maybe now we can have a drink before Hippo starts splashing about again. <sighs> mm. and, oh. Oh. It would be nice if we could all have our breakfast in peace. Mm. Mm. So snappy. I think we're safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Let's find somewhere else to drink. Oh. <laughs> oh! A water hole that stretches as far as I can see. At last, a peaceful drink. <laughs> Salty water! Yuck! <laughs> well, what do you expect from the sea? Tortoise? This is the sea? Oh, yes. I like to come and warm my shell on the sand, just as the sea is going out. Going out? Where to? Who knows? But out it goes, and in it comes again. Twice every day. You see, before, the sea came all the way up to here. <gasps> And now look how far away it is. <laughs> it's so clever. They call it a tide, you know. That's all very well, Tortoise. 
But I don't like the taste of the salty sea for my breakfast drink. Well, what's wrong with the water at the water hole? Hippo is in it. Oh, she ruffled her feathers this morning. All that splashing and splashing and the splishing. I know, I know. It's about time some beast told Hippo to stop. That's it. And I'm going to tell her. Oh, it's high time some little beast taught that big beast a lesson. Come on. Dickbird, what are you doing? Whoa! Oh, Hippo! <laughs> Hippo! Please, Hippo, stop! Hippo! <laughs> Hippo won't listen. You'll just get splashed again. <laughs> Hippo! Stop! Splashing and splashing every beast. It's not funny. Not funny at all! <gasps> Quite right. Well said, little bird. <laughs> Splashing is not funny. <laughs> Get off. I have tingly skin. <laughs> Don't like being stood on. <laughs> Don't let me stand on you. Eh? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Not at all. Get off. <laughs> Please. <laughs> then I challenge you to a contest. <laughs> a contest? <laughs> you challenge me? <laughs> <laughs> If you win, then you can splash all you like. Ha! Is that it? No. If I win, I can stand on you forever. <laughs> if you win, not a chance. What is this challenge, Tickbird? The challenge is who can drink the most water in a single gulp? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never drink more than me. Woo <laughs> Do you accept the challenge? Of course I accept, because I will win. No doubt about it. <laughs> you have all heard. Hippo has accepted the challenge. Mm -hmm. You, Tickbird, must choose the time and place. <laughs> we will go to the sea. And the time? Tomorrow, breakfast time. Attention all. Mm. The challenge is set. Tomorrow, breakfast time at the sea. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking, Tick Bird? If you have a plan, I would like to know. I do have a plan, but it's a secret. We won't tell anybody. What are friends for? Well, I chose the sea because of what Toy Toy said. Ah, clever tick bird. The tides. Uh -huh. The tides? The water going up and down twice a day. Huh? Sorry, still don't get ya. Big head sea, tiny brain. <laughs> don't worry, elephant. I don't understand it either. Shh! You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> see you at <gasps> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is a contest to see who can drink the most water in one gulp. Not much of a contest if you ask me. I didn't ask you, Hippo. Now, you will drink first. If Tickbird wins, <laughs> Tickbird will be allowed to stand on Hippo's back forever. Hmm. But if Hippo wins, Hippo can splosh and jump as much as she likes. Is it understood? It is. It is. Hippo, it is time for you to take your drink. Ooh, the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, elephant, watch this, watch this. <laughs> Beat that, little bird. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Come on, Tick Bird. Yay, Tick Bird. Not yet. Not mm. yet. Hmm? Hmm. No! It can't be! 
Hippo drank the water from this lion to this lion. And Tickbird drank the water from this lion all the way to this lion. Hey! Well done, Tickbird. The difference is clear. I declare Tickbird the winner. <laughs> well done, Tickbird. Tickbird can now stand on you anytime she likes. <laughs> it's not fair. It must be a trick. Shush, Hippo. You must honor the challenge. Oh, right. yes. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know? From the day of the Great Water Challenge, every animal was happy because Hippo didn't splish and splash all day. Tickbird was happy because she had all the food she could eat. Mm. Yummy, yummy ticks! Mm. And Hippo was happy because Tickbird ate all the tickly ticks. And that's why Tickbird sits on Hippo's back. I still don't get it. Tickbird didn't really drink half the sea. It was the tide going out. But going where? Never mind, elephant. Tickbird won, and that's all we need to know. Every animal was happy. Ah, out of my way. Oh! Mm. Except crocodile. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> Chesa, Chesa, come on, dance! Imba, Imba, come on, sing! Shuka, Shuka, shake it down! Ruka, Ruka, jump around! <laughs> Tales from Africa! Tales from Africa! <laughs>